was very homesick and I thought about them a lot. So I never stopped missing my parents and I never got answers after the war ended about them. My family went into hiding and they were betrayed. My aunt and my grandmother were hiding and they were on the run. And they had, they spent some time on the run together and then they separated. My aunt and my uncle were working in the underground. My uncle said to my aunt at one time, we're dead either way, so we might as well make our lives count for something and join the underground. So they did that. But my parents went into hiding together and they were betrayed. I'm telling you about my grandmother's visit. Um, one year while I was in hiding and she was on the run, she must have been in the east of Holland that, at that particular time. And she spent two nights walking in the dark and hiding in the day so that she wouldn't be picked up. You, you were not free and you had to have ID papers and, and certainly you couldn't be Jewish without being picked up and being sent to the camps. So um, she appeared on my birthday. She didn't stay long, but it was unforgettable. I remember going to bed hungry every night and along with missing my parents was just wishing for food and thinking a lot about being hungry. And so we had some fake foods like bread. Now I call it ersatz bread, but it may be better known as wartime or fake bread, just like ersatz coffee. Not that I would have had coffee of any sort, but every day we must have had a loaf of something that was called bread. And every night I went to bed thinking, and keep in mind it was always exactly cut into the number of family members. 11 of us, 11 equal slices. And somehow the heel was a little, seemed a little thicker. And so we each got our turn at the heel of the bread. And I would go to bed at night thinking, tomorrow it's my turn to get the heel. There were people starving and they came endless knocks on the door with people begging for food just to survive. And every time there was a knock, my oldest Catholic sister answered and gave something to whoever was begging for food. And this went on for a long time and they always shared. Now, Modesty and humility were a big part, so I know we shared proudly, but it was never mentioned. But I know very well what was going on because it was all visible. And then came the day there were knocks at the door. And Zeus, who was the oldest sister, didn't answer because we didn't have food to share. That would have had to be, I, I'm guessing now, what was known in Holland as the Hunger Winter, and that was the winter of 1944. And it was one of the coldest winters, and the food supplies really run out. And my family was reduced to eating flour mixed with water. And sometimes we had smushed or mashed up tulip bulbs, and we ate that.